think I'm pretty without any makeup. This is Waliso. It's located 115 kilometers southwest of Addis in the Aromia region. I have two site mates, a G9 named Brittany, walking ahead, and a G10 named Caitlin. Both of them are great girls and have been a huge help with helping me to get adjusted to this town. This is the main street in town. There is always livestock, such as goats and donkeys hanging around. You will oftentimes find people selling a variety of goods here too, especially on market days, which are every Wednesday and Saturday. These are my site mates' homes. They live in the same compound right next door to each other, and their places are huge. This is Caitlin's house. She's a G10 health volunteer, and she arrived in country in February of 2014. She moved into her home sometime around May. And this is Brittany's house, right next door to Caitlin's. She's a G9 education volunteer, and she's been living in Ethiopia for over a year now. She only has about 10 months left until her two-year service is over. I live really close to Brittany and Caitlin. I'm about a one-minute walk away. I live on the next block over. This is my compound, and my landlady and her family who own it. There are about eight other people who live in the compound with me, but most of them are all family, and so far they all have been pretty great. Over here is my house. Honestly, I was a bit disappointed when I first saw it, because, as you can see, it is so much smaller than my side mates. But honestly, it's been great. It's newly built, has concrete walls, which so far has been doing a great job of keeping the rats out. And look at that beautiful ceiling. This is my shit bed. It's literally a porcelain throne. It's pretty clean and very comfortable. After seeing my house, my side mates decided to take me to the market in town. Market days bring in thousands of people who live on the outskirts of town, and so they are not used to seeing us foreigners. So market days tend to be the days where Peace Corps volunteers get the most harassment. From children following you and yelling out money, 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 to grown men trying to get your attention and saying very rude things. Sometimes you also have to deal with people trying to charge you more money than everyone else, which can be infuriating when you're on a Peace Corps salary. I really enjoy market days though. It gives me a chance to practice my Amharic and stock up on food for the week. There are some things you can only get on market days, such as sweet potatoes, certain spices, butter, and avocados, which are sometimes a little hard to find in town. Hands down, one of my favorite places in town is the Nagash Lodge. It's absolutely beautiful here, and they have some pretty good Ferengi food, excellent Wi-Fi, and a swimming pool. You can also pay seven bird to take a hot shower here, and there are a ton of monkeys. I come here at least once a week to talk to family and friends, to shower, and to get current episodes of The Walking Dead as they air weekly back in the States. The food here is also really good. They have a nice selection, but the food tends to attract the monkeys. Monkeys who are unbelievably persistent. You'll honestly spend your entire time defending your food or losing it to one of these small little thieves. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this is the high school that I work at in town. The school compound is a little old, but it's very spacious and green. This is the entrance to the staff room and where the teacher lockers are located, since teachers do not have offices of their own here. These are the classrooms. I teach three English classes a day, and I teach ninth grade. I have about 70 kids in each class, so it's incredibly crowded. The large class sizes and lack of electronic equipment, such as projectors like Elmo and computers, are still something I'm getting used to. Teaching in Ethiopia has definitely challenged me to get a little more creative, 
But luckily, Ethiopian students are the most well-behaved kids I've ever come across. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. If you'd like to hear more about my Peace Corps experience, feel free to check out my blog or look for photos on Instagram. Till next time, ciao! Before you met me, I was wrong.